to churn or not to churn? That is the question in today's video. Let's begin. All right, today's video is a versus video and we are going to compare two different types of techniques when it comes to making frozen yogurt. The first is a method which is all over YouTube, which is basically placing some frozen fruit in a blender alongside a sweetener and some yogurt, blending that all up and then you're done. My method of course takes slightly longer because we're going to be churning our frozen yogurt in an ice cream maker. Our blueberries will also be fresh and this is going to make a big difference in the final product. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and let's begin. All right, so we're going to start off with the churn method. So you'll wanna take one cup of fresh blueberries and in a pot or pan with raised sides, you'll wanna add half a cup of sugar And to this, we're going to add two tablespoons of water. And what we're doing here is making a caramel and the water will help the caramel from burning. So we're going to bring this to a simmer. And once the caramel turns nice and blonde, we're going to add our fresh blueberries. Mix this well, and then you're gonna add a squeeze from a wedge of lemon. Next, you're gonna cover this up and you're gonna let this simmer on low for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, our blueberry should have broken down like so. So we're gonna put this off to the side and let it cool. And here is the consistency we're looking for. Next, with one and a half cups of full fat yogurt, you're gonna add to this half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now give this a good whisk. And next, we're going to add our cooled blueberries to this yogurt. Give that one final mix. And then we're going to start setting up our ice cream maker. So I'll leave a link down below on where you can purchase this specific ice cream maker. Turn our ice cream maker on and add your blueberry yogurt. And we're gonna churn this for about 45 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the second method, which uses frozen blueberries. So in a blender, you're gonna add one and a half cups of frozen blueberries alongside a cup of full fat yogurt, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of honey. Now blitz this all up. And there is our frozen blueberry froyo. Next, you're gonna add this into a freezer safe container and we're gonna place this in the freezer for about one to two hours. All right, so finally our showdown, we have our frozen blueberries to the right and our freshly churned blueberry froyo to the left. So I'm gonna start off with the frozen blueberry froyo.
So because of the frozen blueberries, I can kind of taste the ice crystals and it's a bit watered down and also somewhat bland. Now I'm going to taste the churned Froyo and I'm already liking the color here. And as I taste this, it's really velvety and smooth and you can taste the fresh blueberries. Yep, this is the winner, bar none. All right, so I'm gonna put this one to the side and eat my blueberry churned froyo. You don't have to watch this, you can just totally ignore me now. All right, that is it, frozen versus churned. For me, the churned beat it by a mile. And after this video was shot, my wife thought so too, so I was stuck eating the frozen blueberry yogurt. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy content like this. Smash the like button, comment, share, all that fun stuff for the good old YouTube algorithm. And until we meet again, keep on cooking.